the study started from the consideration that nowadays we have not a score to define treatment response in pediatric MS patients. In adult MS patients, we usually use the needle score to, to assess treatment response, but we are not sure that this uh, same score works uh, really good in uh, pediatric population because pediatric patients' uh, uh, features are different from those of adult MS patients. So we uh, use the interferon beta as we have more data about this kind of treatment and we have a lot of patients uh, that uh, receive this treatment uh, over a long uh, follow-up time. In the study that we performed, we have uh, a four-year follow-up time. We uh, started to consider uh, both clinical and MRI predictor. In details, we considered the, the number of relapse during the first year of treatment and uh, the number of new gadolinium menalsin lesions uh, that uh, uh, were detected on the yearly MRI scan and the first year MRI scan. We used this parameter in order to assess a composite score to define treatment response in pediatric population. Also considering that uh, we have uh, a higher clinical and uh, MRI activity in this population, we uh, have the we have the need to define this kind of uh, pediatric specific MS score. As in our score, we identified as predictor treatment response a number a higher number of new lesions or new gadolinium enhancing lesion. In details, we observed that, uh, the appearance of uh, two or more T2 or gadolinium enhancing lesion combined uh, with uh, uh, the presence of two or more relapses during the first year of treatment were associated with higher risk of treatment failure and the overall of long-term disability in this population. So uh, we uh, think that the pediatric specific MS score in the study applied to interferometer treatment uh, should be applied also in, uh, in other treatment, maybe having a, a comparable number of patients as we in the study have a large number of patients could be Considering that we are studying pediatric patients, we have enrolled 334 pediatric MS patients. So we have also statistical power to attain some results, interesting results. And we retain that the pediatric specific MS score is really needed nowadays. So it's in order to obtain a better balance between risk and benefit derived from highly active MS, new, newly defined MS treatment. More than in other population, we think that uh, we would like to define uh, this score in patients treated with uh, fingolimod that is uh, nowadays uh, uh, the, four, the first uh, um, drug applied, uh, um, approved for pediatric MS patients. So we, we think that we have to study this population uh, if possible with similar numbers of patients.